Hey YouTube, this is Dan Mike Nella Vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, you're going to test these spunks out. Four there, the big long ones. Might keep them. Test one of these small ones out. I'm going to make up some more today. I'm going to make up a few more of the short ones. I like those short ones. A bag of this char cloth. I don't know how much I'll need. It's nice char cloth too. Nice and supple. Strike plate I just made. Probably going to be off frame. It's hard to do on frame. This is burning up very quickly. As I said, you don't need a lot of sulphur. That is going very well. It's a perfect amount of sulphur. You don't need a lot. That was the perfect amount. The candle is refusing to light. Anyway, there we go. That was fantastic. They, they, that sulfur was, I could even go less. But it, it, it worked really well. So, yep, yeah, no dramas. That's good. I'll just let that burn down a little bit. So that was good. Um, that's about as much. You do not want more than that on there. Because um, any more than that, and it just you're just wasting it, and it gets in the way. <coughs> you get a little bit of a whiff of sulfur. Um, the long ones, they're handy. They don't go in kits very well. I think the short ones are about the best ones. Those ones there go in kits a lot better. I like the cut-off ones. They're, they're a good idea. Yeah. And about that much, maybe even a little bit less. I think that one there, that's about as much as you need. You don't need much more than that. It's just enough to get a flame going. And, yeah. These kiln-dried, kiln-dried paddle pop sticks burn really well. That's still burning. So, yeah, they're working really well. I'm going to make up a heap more of these short ones. I'm going to cut them up and do it out here now. It's not a lot of wind around, so, yeah. I am going to get two or three of these candles stub so i've got two candles and um that'll speed the process up a bit just went out so um yeah that'll speed the process up a little bit so if one goes out i can have the other one going or i can alternate between the two um i'm just letting that burn down so that the wick is exposed a bit that was where i was having problems with it the wick wasn't exposed very well um yeah the four long ones will be fine I'm going to make up 10 or 12 of them, maybe even more, maybe have 20 short ones, doesn't matter, just spend half the day out here making up these 
spills. Um, most people will be away at work, so the smell won't be too much. I have been going through my kits and I uh, found bags and bags and bags of char cloth. So I've got plenty of char cloth. I'm going to take up a heap of char cloth over to Andrew. Um, for him, he um, we're doing forging now every Thursday until Woodford, which is in 20 days. So next three Thursdays in a row, I'm going to be forging, So, which is excellent. Get some forging days in. Um, yeah, that's good. So yeah, I'm going to take some char cloth over, a couple of bags of it, just to keep him going, because um, he lights his forge, his coke forge, at the Heritage Day with flint and steel, which makes me very happy. Um, that's a really good, good thing that he does. Anyway, um, wanted to test these up. They didn't take long to dry, I can tell you. It was only like 10 minutes since I did the last video. It's still uploading. Anyway, thanks for watching.